trigger on bulb. Sending that to if. So you can trigger of bulb. Sending that to if. Okay. Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hello everyone. This is Abhijit from Creative Research YouTube channel. and today we are going to discuss or making something that how we can connect an amazon echo dot with node mcu in my previous video you can show the demo uh, i just show you the demo how you can control the devices by just talking with alexa and uh, by telling the name of the device like light on or off so that you can control the device so in this uh, tutorial i will show you how you can make your own device and that will cost you under 500 rupees to make your own home automation device using amazon alexa so let's get started and let's see how you can make it okay so <coughs> aaj um, before just starting the session just this is my youtube channel uh, you can see my previous videos over here so you can see my previous videos so that you can uh, watch all the videos and you can just subscribe my channel for further videos i uh, i'll also uh, uh, upload a video on how you can control the device or home automation your devices using okay google or google home here uh, in this video i will tell you how you can control devices using amazon echo dot or amazon alexa so uh, before we started just give you an brief idea of what is an amazon alexa so alexa is an intelligent personal assistant developed by amazon so it is used in amazon echo and echo dot so it mostly used for uh, voice interactions music playback making to do to do lists setting alarms streaming podcasts so playing audio books so providing the uh, weather traffic or real time information or news anything you want to play so amazon alexa will tell you all these things so just ask alexa on the device name and it will it will tell you all the details so uh, now what are the things you need for the home automation using amazon alexa the first of first thing you, you need a amazon echo dot or echo if you don't have that hardware if you don't have the amazon echo or echo dot in your home then you can use the online simulator for both of, for for that device so <coughs> just visit this link is that okay let's reload it so as you can see the website name is ecosim.io and you can see this is the test alexa skill testing tool so you can use this tool a uh, tool for anything to communicate with alexa so just log in with your amazon account and then you can start communicating with this device so let's uh, i just log in with my id so that you can see how it works so uh, over here you don't have to speak about alexa just click on the record and it will start listening to you and then just uh, say anything you want to ask who are you it takes some time for uh, processing as it is a online tool simulator so it takes some time but it will respond i'm alexa and i'm designed around your voice i can provide information news weather and more okay so as you see that uh, you can use this ecosim.io.online simulator to simulate or to talk with alexa without any echo recorded hardware so this is a online simulator in this way if you want to communicate with the alexa from your mobile you can install this app reverb for amazon so this app is used to just like your online simulator over here there is a uh, speaker or microphone symbol just click on that and start uh, start uh, talking with alexa it will respond to you back as the real hardware so this is uh, as a just a online simulators okay just note it down or download this app to a mobile river and this ecosim.io for communicating with your alexa online or using chrome so we are uh, going to control this with both the this 
mobile and uh, from chrome i will i am going to control my home appliances or home devices okay okay so after these two things what are the next things i need the next thing is i need a reti reti.iot.com just go to this website okay so the, what this website is basically do for you this website will give you two http links one for on and another for off for a particular device so we need these two devices two links we need these two links to on and off my devices whenever i uh, whenever i say a string or say i say something to alexa like trigger on light so whenever i say this uh, string so i will connect this uh, amazon i connect the alexa with my if if this then that platform so i will uh, telling you step by step guide how you can do these things okay just log in over here and just create an account if you don't have if you have just log in uh, with your email id and password so i just i have an account so it is easier for me to create an id okay so the my account is created so this is my abhijit patnag id okay so here it is there is a option for chatbot and it will give you a, your mail id and your device name okay so it will the the link will look like this this is your email id and this is your device so i named it facebook led or you can name as per your requirement so it is the name is defined in your code i did not code that code is written to the my node in so i'll show you the code but before that i just write the facebook led name of the device but this is the just a name of the device is not related to anything with your hardware okay just you can name anything okay but before that you need your particular email id okay and rest of the things will be uh, uh, constant it will not change okay so on at the end there will be on so whenever this link is executed i click enter so my led start glowing or my output is activated and i am replacing on with off so my L output is off so publish successful to device means this link is executed on my devices okay so now comes to the i you got the two links after uh, creating an account in reti iot okay now just open if this then that okay i already created login in my login in this site if you don't know what is if this then that then just i give you a simple one line uh, description it is whenever you do something it will redirect this things to another thing means connect multiple things if this happen then that will be your output so whenever i say turn on so that, that will execute the http link okay so now let's see my applets or you can create your own applets also so applets is the things that you want to do okay so just show your demo how you can create just click on new applet then click on if this click on the this platform then search for alexa amazon alexa you will find it click on that then what will what you want to do say specific specific phrase so whenever you say specific phrase so here kya here in this thing in this if this then that alexa trigger is constant so we have to say alexa trigger then on bulb let me let me see bulb alexa trigger on bulb okay so then it will trigger on the bulb okay then create the trigger okay this part is over then that then what will whenever i say alexa trigger on bulb what it will do it will execute a link the then what is the output over here click on that and we will find you have to search for web request web hooks so you will find a web hooks means it will execute a particular link click on web hooks make a web request click on make a web request and what is the link you want to execute i want to say turn on bulb so the end part will be on and just copy this link i just attach all these things in my descriptions of this video so don't worry so just copy this link and paste over here okay this link will be executed so method is get is perfect and then nothing in nothing you want to add just create the action
okay the action is created okay now let me check is it working or not trigger on bulb respond you back we sending that to ift ok you can listen the response that sending that to ift means it is sending that instruction to ift so ift whenever this link executed then it will make the web request so my currently my device is on so i will show you the video uh, in the end of this uh, tutorial ok so now, now i am to make an another applet for turning this off ok so now let's search for new applet if this this stands for alexa search for alexa then click ok in the initial period you just have to sign in amazon but as i am already signed in so it, i don't have to ask anything trigger off bulb just write down off bulb ok create the trigger and then i have just have to do a wave request so for that reason i need a wave hook okay then click on that search for wave hook okay wave hook we will find wave hooks click on it uh, give the link of for the off so this is the link for off so your link and my link will be different so change your email id over there if you create the same device then don't have to change anything then just create the action so just click on the finish okay now you can go uh, now you can see alexa trigger of bulb then it will create an web request to for the off that device so you have now two uh, applets one for trigger on bulb another for trigger off bulb now my now just test for the off my currently my device is on outside just uh, refresh this page whenever you add new instruction to the alexa using if and after refreshing just say for off that bulb okay trigger off bulb so it will respond you back that sending that to if so they if it respond to respond you back then on, then you can ensure that your wave request is executed okay so wait sending that to ift yeah so now my device outside of my outside in my in my home is currently off so uh, in my previous tutorial previous video also you can see these things happening and now i am just show you the tutorial okay so these are the things so you need three things one is data iot ift and alexa ecosystem.io okay after after these three things you need the arduino code and this is the main thing for your iot so this code is over here and it is used node mcu wi-fi module and it has programmed through adreno so what i i have already uploaded lot of video how to use node mcu for iot so you can check those videos for your uh, for getting some idea so here select the board node mcu select the port and uh, after selecting uh, give your wi-fi id then your password then your mp2 server that, that this is same for all of us but change the id and password over here and then you have to choose um, then wait a minute okay so this is your mail id and your device name so uh, as per your email id change this and you can change your device name also like alexa led or anything you can choose okay so as per this it will going to execute okay so in this way you just have to change your mail id and then on and off for on and off uh, for the device okay so whenever you say on whenever you the link executed on d3 is high so the output is at d3 pin so connect the device at d3 of your node mcu and whenever you execute that on uh, http link the device will be on and whenever you executed off uh, 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 http link the device will be going off 
okay so uh, this is all the software parts then just uh, click on upload and the video will, and the other code is uploaded in your node mcu so if you have any fine of difficulties on uploading this code in your node mcu just give um, just give like write down the comments i will i definitely will help you for overcome these problems also see my previous tutorials how to um, code node mcu now i'll i'll just start how the hardwares are connected and what are the hardwares you need for your home automation let's see the hardwares then thank you Hello, uh, hi guys. Now I, we are going to test this uh, Alexa home automation using this using River app. So this app you can download from uh, Play Store. Otherwise you can use ecosim.io simulator on your Chrome browser or any web browser. So I am using this mobile uh, mobile app so that you can see it how you can use it. So after writing the code in this uh, Bluetooth uh, in this Node MCU module, you can see this LED is glowing. So that it's it means that your device is now connected with the internet. Now the next thing is that we are going to control. I am connect, connecting a relay based uh, bulb. So this is the power 230 volt AC is given to this bulb, and another relay is there inside this box. So whenever I uh, 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 say some uh, phrase. That phrase will execute a HTTP link, and as per the link, this particular pin will high or low. Connect. Currently, I am connecting the output of this board uh, to D3 pin, as mentioned in the program. This is on ground or 5 volt. That is uh, 5 volt and 5 volt on ground to the relay, and this is for the uh, D3 output. So this is the output pin. Okay. So as uh, as I am mentioned in the string that to, uh, to on the to on the device, I have to say trigger on bulb. So if you have the Alexa in your home, just you have to say Alexa trigger on bulb. It will work. You don't have to uh, do anything. But in the simulator, you don't have to say Alexa. So here you have to press this switch and then uh, say trigger on bulb. This bulb will be on. Okay. Let's check now. Trigger on bulb. Sending that to ift. So you can see uh, by saying that it is now on. So if you want to off it, I have to say trigger off bulb. Okay. Trigger of bulb. Sending that to ift. Okay. So after uh, receiving this, uh, uh, um, receiving the speech, it will say sending that to ift. If that string was revert to back by the Alexa, that means your HTTP link is executed. Otherwise, it is showing some error. Okay. So I think you got that how you can use Alexa to control your home appliances. I will, I will, and I'll, I'll show you how to control using Google Home. And also you can control the devices using chat or Twitter also or Facebook and Twitter also. So in the further videos I will upload these things. Stay tuned and stay subscribed my channels. Thank you.